Hello, repetitive tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts X Division Mod with me, Blue Ankylo. And uh, we got another little mission to do to start off our episode. Should not take too long, probably. It's the B team, and uh, I want to remember to use the axe. Don't forget to do the axe trick. We're gonna we're gonna teach you guys a cool axe trick. And everyone else has got their weapons. I might have sent them another rifle. Let me just double check. Yeah, so we have another sniper rifle. So let's just get this equipped on somebody. Someone with some accuracy, right? I was going to go... Yeah, I remember now. I could have done this off camera, but it's too late now. <laughs> so we're going to make another sniper, which means Granola is not our sniper for the moment. Or not our rocketeer for the moment. Someone else is going to get an upgrade. Because now we've got two people with good sniper rifles and enough accuracy that I can trust him, probably. Okay. And then I also have been trying to remember to bring the big, the big, the big, big splodies on the snipers. Uh, and with all this extra strength, we want... No, two medkits is asking for a little bit too much. But uh, we'll toss in some more nades, because you can never have too many grenades. <laughs> Anyway, these guys are pretty strong, so that's good. Alright, so that frees up the rocket launcher for somebody. I thought I had another rifle, or at least I, I meant to have another rifle. I didn't send a spare... I'm going to make another Mark II rifle for this base at some point. Uh, but for now, we've got double shields, one rifle, flamethrower, carbine, and maybe... Maybe someone can have the backup rocket launcher. I do want at some point for this to be the standard. And let me just have a little experiment with like strength mounts. So our strongest is actually Danny here, but I don't want to mess around with rifles right now. Well, to be fair, Thorinum, pretty strong, not very accurate. I don't really want to give him a rocket launcher with 39 accuracy. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. All right, let's... The problem is, like, heavy machine guns are heavy, so we need someone with, like, a lighter weapon, like a carbine. Maybe what we'll do for now is start with rockets. No med kits for the moment. Yeah, this will be fine. So he's got a backup carbine and front-loaded front, front -loaded rockets, at least. He's got a little bit of accuracy. This this will be fine for, for temporarily. And we can still toss him in uh, a variety of other rockets. Little rainbow. Oh, that's all he can carry. That's fine. That's fine. Basically, three rockets, and then he can switch back to his carbine if he needs to. And at least this gives him a long-range option and a short-range option. Forever shields. Well, no, it won't be forever. I, uh, well, the thing is, what typically happens is when somebody dies and I bring a brand new person in, like, some of these people haven't had a chance to come back. When they start, they will probably not have good stats for anything. So I generally start them as shields, and then other shield people get promotions because at least they have stats. Like, that's what just happened to, uh... Was it Jarao, I think, last episode or a couple episodes ago? He was a shield guy, and I'm like, oh, okay, your time as shield guy is up. You can move up to the ranks. Do we get shields with rifles? No, shields are always... Rifles are always two-handed. So, the only way you can dual wield is with a one-handed weapon, which is a pistol, an SMG, uh, or a knife, or a stun baton. There's not very many one-handed weapons, unfortunately. Alien weapons! You know, if you pick up an alien... If you pick up an alien rifle, you can, you can dual wield then. A belt shield. It would be nice if, uh... Like, the final tech of shield, you could just have on your belt and would take effect, but I, I don't think it works like that. Anyway, we're in the middle of recording. I can't just get too sidetracked here. Point is, B team is going on another mission, and I was double checking that everyone has the right stuff. Axe, gun, laser rifle, flamethrower is not the best primary, but I don't think I have, well. Yeah, okay, let's do this. I'd rather start getting used to this mechanic like this is more how this is the wrong like this is the wrong tier of weapon but this is more how i want things to work in the future 
the stun baton doesn't need to be on your belt all the time. And this way... This way we will have a longer or medium range option that's more... I will probably shoot it more often so your accuracy will go up. And then it'll be easy enough to toss it on the ground, pull out a flamethrower if you need to for something. Like if you need to breach inside the UFO or something. It'll, it'll, be, it'll work out. Start with your rifle. Have an option in the backpack. And you can still carry... Well, we did have to throw your med kit away, so just have a band-aid. We are a little bit light on med kits. One, two, three. We only have three med kits across the whole team. That's not a lot. How much do these these weigh? Nine or eight? Two. I think. Yeah. A spare med kit on Granola because he's so strong. Just because we're a little bit light on them. And then like Drow, or not Drow, Danny can have uh, another band-aid. Well, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I'm just a little bit worried we're running a little low. Okay, let's get this mission going. Axe time. Time to axe it up. I'm still going to try to do this mission fairly quick because what I really want to see is new aliens. And they're not going to be in this crash site. Uh, we're going to build a new car for the main base because, uh, well, hopefully there's a car on this one, actually. I'm not 100% sure if I set up the car for base 2. Well, we're about to find out if we have a bad time or a good time. Hey, they have a car. Perfect. Oh, of course. X Hunter 04 car cannot be killed. He's got the plot armor. In fact, if he ever takes damage and dies, we're just going to reload at this point. <laughs> Alright, there's some peaceful Chrono Trigger music in the background. We're in a nice little corner. Dense urban population. We're in like Brazil or something. I can't remember. Somewhere in South America. I didn't really get a good look. We don't need to learn geography for uh, XCOM. Kind of an annoying route back there, to be honest. Okay, lots of civilian cover. Yeah, not the nicest exit out of the uh, deployment zone here. But, yeah, there's no way there's aliens in there. Yeah, the flamethrowers with the, like... A lot of weapons don't need as much reload ammo as you would expect. At least not for these kind of missions. Like, once we start getting... Well, like, for a terror mission, for example. Those are the missions where you want to you want to bring extra ammo for those ones. When you've got, like, 50 aliens to kill, it's a little bit more important to have uh, backup. And, and to be fair, we're not fighting Androns yet. Androns tend to sink a lot of ammo. Like... You tend to empty clips into them over and over again before they go down. I guess this corner, this this spot isn't totally useless. And I do have one rocket guy. This is actually an even worse map for the rockets, to be honest, because uh, it's there's so many like alleys and stuff. It's hard to get a good angle for a rocketeer. I don't like, I'm grouping people up here a little bit more than I'd prefer, but. Let's see, I'm going to tuck the car in a little bit. Just so it's not in the middle of the road. This doesn't put Evan in the best position, to be fair. And then Aaron. I think I'll just keep an eye on uh, this sort of corner in case something comes over. But it's only, it's only a small, it's only a scout. I should know enough. We've got enough gas grenades to win these, hopefully. We'll find out if it's Sizen or, uh, or Sibillion soon enough. Oh, it's uh, definitely Sibillion. So, <laughs> if I take this shot, he's probably not going to die. Thorinum, what do you want? You're, let's do some other moves here. 
Do you want me to shoot your SMG or do you want me to run away? We'll do chat plays at Xenonauts. You got this. I give your odds of survival negative five. I got this. Point blank with an alien flamer versus an SMG. Alright, there's more down here than I was expecting. Now, the hunter car might save you. Kleber, oof, there's not a lot of ways to get in here. Alright. Thordum wants to shoot. Zero damage. <laughs> have, have I have I established why I don't build these yet? I swear, I'm not trying to, like, like sabotage them. They're just not very good. <laughs> All right, um, we got this lovely propane tank. Can't move, you're stuck now. At least you got a shield. Can't get to there and fire, can't shoot through there. Well, uh, I don't even know if that's far enough away for Lone Grim. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trouble. The shield will carry him. I don't even know if this is far enough away from the propane tank. It's far enough. Alright, now we got an angle to... Curse you walls? What? How? <laughs> the explosion went through the wall. <laughs> It destroyed things inside the building, and the wall's just like, nope. <laughs> it just deflects the damage inside the building, and doesn't take any itself. Okay. Clearly, the final boss will be one gigantic building of walls. Uh. Well, we, we could do, like this this might help oh. now he can't see you you're invisible <laughs> they don't have very good aim they might that might work ah <sighs> xenonauts hey we got a suppression off good job car hunter 04 car can shoot the impenetrable walls no, no, no thing on this planet can destroy those walls besides Hunter Car. The true hero that we need. Alright, we'll put Aaron Ga Goy behind the car, which is, of course, impenetrable. Squatch meal. Suspiciously almost bird like name. Makes me a little bit suspicious of their, uh, their humanity. Alright, the civilian decided to shoot the car knowing the car was the true threat, but not knowing that the car was invincible and therefore missed the car. Blue using all of his actions to save you. <laughs> yeah, Thor, and um, you guys in, in YouTube chat can't read it because YouTube blocked it because, oh no, swear words, almost. Alright, Thor, and I'm, here you go. So you need 28 to fire. 28 times 2 is 56. You got this. Come on. <laughs> Finally a kill with an SMG. <laughs> it's such a good weapon. <laughs> quality, ma quality manufacturing. Oh, this cop back here. He is not helping. Alright, let's keep going. Don't slow it down. It's too late at night. Too many... E oh, look! There's a gigantic... Well, not gigantic. There's a UFO. So then there's Evan over here, and he's like, you know what? Uh, SMGs are for chumps. I don't have an SMG. I have an axe, which I could have used, and instead I threw a grenade, because I never remember where my axes are. Blue Ankylo 
remember your axes, you fool. Because axes are cool. And I have a secret trick to teach you guys about axes in Xenonauts X Division. Another one. Okay. Car! Actually, hold on. I should have used a sniper first. This is a sniper shot. Uh, maybe. 65%. Of course not. Alright, car, you know what to do. Well, 50 damage in a suppression. Also use the F5, sure. Once we get to one of those Corvettes or Terror Ships, then we'll need the F5. Press F5 to pay for Blue Ankylo's new PC build. Alright, well, uh, you know, Aaron, you still have a shot here, maybe? Hmm, not really. I think it's time to move Lone Grim over. We could explode him. But he's suppressed. Who needs that? Uh, that was the only thing left, right? Aaron... 39... You think he's... The fact that I had to run him backwards to get out of the way of the tank kind of used up all his TUs, so... Look! Car takes zero damage. That second number was a lie. It's not real. Alright. As fun as it is to let the car kill everything, no one will get any stronger if we keep letting the car carry the team. So we need to hit this guy. Come on, Granola. First day as a sniper, you traded your rocket launcher over. I Did I forget to crouch him? I forgot to crouch him. That's part of the problem. Alright, the, the, the experienced sniper is now in position. And, and he has to shoot through a fridge, so he can't shoot. Uh... Well, Aaron, uh, starting to look more and more like this is your time to shine. All right, you know all this is this is enough. I've had enough. I was thinking, Blue, stop using, don't use rockets all the time to solve your problems. I've had enough of this. Rockets do solve problems. Sometimes they cause problems, but today they're solving. And yeah, of course the hunter car is friggin' overkill. Probably could have used the Hunter card to kill both those. Okay, we got a Reaper down there. Uh, bullets work really good against Reapers, more than uh, lasers, so that's fine. I suppose we should check the upstairs. I hate it when there's aliens up here, but every now and then they, they do that, you know, sneaky aliens. All right. We got two people over here covering kind of this side of the map. It's not a lot, to be fair, but so far so good. A lot of aliens outside. Yeah, what we're we're up to what? One, two, three, four, five. I bet you this is the last one, or there's one more outside of the UFO. I feel like a scout usually has five or six outside. There's never, you know, you never know 100%, but... Alright, who else we got? Canny, or <laughs> Canny. Danny, the Merciful. With a C because he's a corporal. Axe tricks, axe tricks. Don't forget your axe tricks. Axe tricks when we get to the breach. Looks like the warehouse is probably empty. Makes it a decent place for cover. Axes probably work pretty good on Reapers too, actually. Actually! Can you believe it? Okay, everyone's moved. Reapers just killing all the civilians. Well, we couldn't have killed them this turn, really, no matter what I did, so... Those civilians had it coming. Alright. Seeing as the car is the closest support. Oh no, he didn't get a kill in one shot? Oh, he's getting rusty in his old age. I think the, the story for that one is he's just trying to let other people get some experience. <laughs> Good shooting, Aaron. I know 
Laser rifle's not the best choice against these guys. Can always tell how late it is by how dumb my puns by puns are for the channel. <laughs> the cornier and groanier, <laughs> the more tired I am. <laughs> but some people like that sort of thing. <laughs> well, that's far too. That's much too far away for uh, Thorinum to get a to get an SMG shot off. I guess we just rely on Lone Grim to kill it if it comes towards us. 4 a.m. Well, it's only 1 a.m. my time, but it's getting pretty late. All right, we'll load up. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with explosive. Okay, let's clear out this corner. I mean, I was just taking bets that this was the last alien outside the UFO, so clearly we're safe now. This actually is not very safe. <laughs> There's a lot of hidey holes in here and I didn't clear them. I put Danny in a very bad position, so that was dumb. Snipers probably should be moving up. Let's send uh, some support. Seeing as I'm making bad moves over here, we need some more uh, backup. Not that that's very good. <laughs> Chain link fence is probably not the best cover we've ever had either, to be totally honest. Alright. Didn't I? I called it! I said we're just gonna have to count on Lone Grim snipering a new X Division player. I mean, I've played X Division for a while, I just haven't streamed it for that long. But yeah, Lone Grim, like, look at this! Just easy two shotting the Reaper, no problem. Like, like it's not even a problem. But also, yes, hello, uh, Svine Dragon. Dragon, not Dragon. I've been streaming for too long. We're, this is like, we're getting close to the end of the today's stream. <laughs> it's at that point. I hate this map. I could just blow it up. Yeah, take that tree. That's still not enough. I need to kill the shrubbery. Alright, now we can just take the shortcut. <laughs> Good job, Kleber. <laughs> That's the spirit. Alright, stop making dumb moves. Keep it, keep it tight. Chick cor oh, look, look, it's totally fine. There's a cop in here. He's got it. He's He's got me covered. There's probably somebody in this house. Uh, Aaron, follow the bloodstains. Uh, I don't trust it. Let's move Sniper a little bit closer. Lone Grim's doing a good job. Uh, rockets are fine. Any day, any time. Shields. Can we actually... Yeah, we can go through the sides. You can't always sneak by the UFOs like that on the, the edge of the map, but it gets us a little bit of vision. Need to keep an eye on the middle in case they... I mean, we're probably at the point where there's no more coming out, but... That's what shields are for. Let's see. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty thick forest cover in there. I like that. And I mean, technically, there could be an alien hiding behind this uh, crate. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. We'll move all the way here and have a look. We can just cry if there was an alien there, but this this is fine. <laughs> Blue likes to rhyme. <laughs> yeah, I know. I <laughs> as I was saying it out loud, I'm like, oh, we can we can totally make a little rhyme out of this one. Chat will love it. <laughs> Alright, there was two cops guarding these warehouses. I had nothing to worry about. We can go upstairs for days. I don't care. There's probably an alien up there. Actually, what are the odds? What, what, what do we actually think? Oh, I hate I hate these multi-story buildings because they take so much time to clear. And my car probably can't go through this forest. Well, I didn't say... Possible, but just check your last couple spots. This is this is just super being thorough, except also being un <laughs> insanely unsafe. But you know, this is like I don't know what are we up to like the thirtieth scout or something like that. It's at the point where we just we just want to get these over a little bit, and we take some unnecessary risks. 
Uh, well, what are we fighting today? Civilians? They do like to come out and shoot you with flamethrowers. One, yeah, I mean, I've seen it where just the last black square on the map. We had it on the terror mission. Where there's just one tiny black square in the final building. And still, the first time we had a view on it, it turned around and killed somebody. Or blew up the tank at the least. And sometimes it's just not much you can do. I guess when you're really tired of forests, there is one good solution to forests. Only you can start forest fires today. But, you know, that'll... It actually didn't even destroy the tree. Ah. Walls and trees are immune to grenades for some reason. Always having to prove me wrong on stream. Alright, we're getting to the door. Let's do uh, door hack number one. A.K.A. cheating. Well, that time it didn't work. First time it didn't work. Probably just missed throw. Fur tree print so nice. Uh, can we get the car through here in a reasonable time? Yeah, we got a clear path now. And then, just to say I cleared it all. I mean, it's, it's so unlikely at this point. I, like I said, we've been keeping count of how many aliens we've killed. The odds of there being anything back there are tiny. There's a little bit higher odds there'd be something there, though. Oh, we blew a hole in the door. Somebody put a hole. The Reaper probably ran through there. That's probably what that was. Alright, this was a little bit smarter movement. So Thornum... Alright, there. A little bit of not being dumb. Thornum did some good clearing. With the shield, like he's supposed to. Uh, Evan, not so much. I... Is anyone... No one's even in a position to smoke, so... We're just... Running by the seat of our pants here. Alright. Let's see what happens. Car can take out all the foliage. Uh... Civilians are even less of a threat to cars because they have like fire and stuff. They don't have any lightning damage. <laughs> Kids have always done dangerous crap. I think that's that's the standard. All right, this time, get that grenade in the door, Evan. Apparently, this door is impossible to cheat through. I swear this this, this has never happened before. You guys have watched. What's going on with my weird grenade logic? It's a special scout. Is it secretly a tier 2 scout? It, it, I don't think it even can be. Operation Bouncy Door. That's right, the aliens are on to my tricks and they have installed bouncy walls to all of their uh, UFO doors. Alright. Map is... Probably clear. Uh, hide behind some flimsy trees. Oh, there was fire there. Well, I, I couldn't see it when I clicked it. It's alright, Aaron. Just injured again for another week. It just builds character. Some little, uh... <laughs> just, just some little, uh, scar burn. Scar tissue on your feet. This is what happens when you go too fast. You do stupid stuff. Alright, well seeing as the door is grenade proof, we'll test out it's bulletproof. Bulletproofness. We, we could throw some high explosives at it, I suppose. I suppose. We're just sort of waiting for everyone to catch up right now anyway. Alright, so we got my shields on each side. I generally like to have... Well, snipers are too close. Some sort of backup behind them. Right. My other backup is injured, of course. The the snipers tend to have the med kits. Sort of makes sense, I guess. Stay safe. You can run back to them to get healed. 
they're less likely to get killed and lose the medkit on the ground. Alright, rockets. We got that heavy machine gun coming in. Too much smoke to open the door right now anyway. Not too much smoke to shoot. We'll open that door. We'll crack that open. 30 minutes in. We haven't even finished the... Oh, there we go. Door opened and dead alien. Excellent. In case you're wondering, there's some Castlevania music in the background. Dracula's very upset. Alright. Front is clear. That's genius. or Well, not genius, but that's uh, helpful, let's say. Alright, let's move one reinforcement to that side. Aaron, with very low HP, is probably not going to get a lot of sh use here. Sometimes when I'm being really smart, I'll put the snipers, like, in cover with an angle to fire down the hole. If I'm feeling really thorough. Rockets, probably not super valuable inside the UFO, to be honest. Unless you want to blow everything up. Apparently, Jarrell likes to do that. But yeah, we're only through the easy door. Phase 1 door always blows up pretty quickly. Phase 2 door is where it gets serious. Boss music intensifies. Alright. Well, I still want the gas to go away a little bit more. So, actually, we'll switch out sort of Aaron in line for Squatch Meal. Carbines work a lot better than low HP laser rifle. It's only laser rifle mark one anyway, so. There we go. Kind of covering or blocking our own sniper shots. So move tank over a little bit. The cover he was providing is no longer necessary. Just gonna get through the smoke phase. Maybe one more turn. We should be good though. This is where I don't think we brought it. Nobody has, like, a backup flamethrower this time, right? This is one of my C teams, or B or C team. Oh, no, 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 Aaron. Oh, but he's the guy. That... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you got one job to do, Aaron. It's burn this door down. Good luck. <laughs> uh, this is probably a good spot to burn it down. I'll even... I'll even let you get crouch first, and I'll throw some um, distraction shields over here. Thorinum can uh, distract it up, and uh, so will Evan. So maybe that'll lure the aliens to throw a grenade at them if they come out the door. <laughs> Alright, they didn't open the door. Alright, flamethrower. You know, 50% accuracy at... Uh, a few squares away. It'd be better if you were closer, but I don't want to do that. Okay, the door has survived one pelting. I don't even know if that hit, to be honest. Not too close to the generators. <laughs> You've got explosive protection armor. <laughs> it's totally fine. And we need more room for chat to get names in on the, uh, on the game. Alright, we got it. It only took three flamings. I figured I should try to give the kill to Aaron at that point. He did not get the kill, though. Alright, what about these amazing snipers I put into place? Just for this shot. They actually... Lone Grim gets it. I figured he was probably going to shoot someone in the back, but... He did not. Well, uh, I feel like if anyone wants to come out into this hallway to kill us, they're going to... You know... They're going to have little scorchies on their own feet. For the first time ever, we've ran out of fuel in our flamethrower. Uh, I don't have enough time units to pull out a weapon, but, you know, next turn. How is the door so f The doors are everything resistant, Aaron. They are made of the strongest material in space. Tell you what. Now that the first door is down, toss in a grenade. Good grenade. That one... Past the door check. Got him. Hey! Aaron's out for a few days. No big deal. Couple promotions. Lots of strength. Everyone's doing their push-ups. Uh, some time units and accuracy here and there. Not too bad. Not too bad. See, Lone Grim got the big win here. 
lots of stat ups. But, you know, he is the captain. Like, there's a reason he's the captain and he's pretty awesome. But it's only eight aliens, right? Remember I said, like, five or six outside, two or three inside? That's, you know, scouts don't have all that many. There you go. Done. And make a little bit of money. This is B team. Goodbye, Data Core. Times two. Another 200,000. Might have enough money to start talking about uh, building stuff again. Over a mil. Not bad. We start disassembling them again at some point, but figured makes. You know what I forgot? I forgot the axe! <laughs> I didn't do the axe! I just cannot remember melee weapons in this game. Ah, uh, you guys have to. You chat has to yell at me more about axes. We need like an axe emoji or something. It's ridiculous. This is still phase one. It. This is still part one of phase one. We've been. We've been. <laughs> we've done so many missions. And the aliens won't show up with the big. Uh, I didn't even remember to give him. Okay, I gotta build a gun. Hold on, I, I got a couple things I need to base manage here. Uh, make a better gun. Yeah. And... Okay, these guys have it assigned. Good. Division machine gun assigned. Good. Alright, it was just the one that I was missing. I'm missing the proper upgrade. Okay, and then base two, uh, because we just finished a mission, we did not capture anybody. We could, you know, we could spend forever tearing them apart. Uh, we might have some more cores out of it, but generally these civilian missions are kind of worthless. Other than the money for the core, basically. Haven't seen me play X Division before. I, I mean, I don't stream super regularly, but uh, I, I've, you know been around a little while anyway uh, I'm really hoping that we see some mediums now it's time for mediums our bases are set up pretty well we have nothing to research oh yeah money should I spend some money uh, and I've got two bases in production I probably want to save my spare cash here for getting these gears, um, yeah, they'll be ready soon enough. I want some money to build, like, even just one radar array each is half of that. And then throwing some hangers in there. Kind of like Australia. Maybe I won't worry about the batteries right away or the second radar, but. Also, we don't need the living quarters because we're not putting labs in them just yet. But maybe one day. Oh, man, these bases are so dumb. This is like the worst layout I've ever done. Uh, yeah, we're, we're okay. Basically, I'm gonna want... Like, North America needs one or two radars to get good coverage. Europe needs probably just the one. But they need the, uh... They need the hangars to get some... Some aircraft in there. Are you, like, one of the developers for the mod or something? I'm I'm not totally inexperienced. I've, I have played this... I haven't beat it before, but I have played a campaign before. We're playing on fairly easy settings to keep it casual, of course. Rather than extreme superhuman Iron Man settings. Alright. New bases. Hooray! Hold on, hold on. Um, well, one thing to check here. So we're at... Right now, we're sort of... Last month, we, we had enough money to pay for bills last month. We're up 200000 this month. And there's still, like, um, 20 days to go. So chances are, unless we really suck, this number will go up significantly say triple probably or a third of the way through the month so we can sort of add upkeep reasonably speaking of maybe four or five hundred thousand tops before I'd be a little bit running out of money now we're making a lot of money selling the data cores which kind of balances it out but yeah I just want to keep them I don't want to build too much and go broke so I think for the kind of prices of upkeep I'm just going to build the one radar away each, and we'll probably start with six hangers, just to get the default um, two wings of three kind of aircraft going, which should get us through 
hopefully phase one anyway. I wish there was a hotkey for rotate. In case you're wondering, it resets it back to vertical after you click one down. All right, that'll take a little while to build up anyway. We'll probably need... I don't think I've got a whole lot of parts sh stored up. Stored up. Uh, we can build... Yeah, we're out of computers. So we need to do some scout disassembling over the next couple weeks. I think I can just build the one right now. So assumedly we'll want six more. Uh, of course, if we get Corvettes, it'll be faster because you'll get more than one... Uh, you, you know, you'll get more more parts on disassembly than a light scout. Maybe what I'll do is I'll start... I'll keep selling the light scouts, but I'll uh, disassemble some normal scouts, maybe. You just contributed a bit. That's all good. Radars are actually quite expensive. Well, I guess compared to other base buildings... What were we saying here? 40,000, was it? ARA. Yeah, they're more expensive than most base, most buildings. Like, l batteries are around 10,000, 10,000, 5,000, 40,000, 20... Workshops and lab... I still say almost all your money goes to research if you if you hire too many researchers. That's the, the biggest expense, is if you hire too many people. Which is what we did. We had 80, which is way too many. And now we're down to 40, which is probably more fair. <laughs> hey, Grotham. You've come at a rough time because we won't be streaming for too much longer, but welcome to the end of it at the very least. It's, it's, it's awfully late Ankylo time. Anyway, I want to see the next wave. It's got to be time. It's got to be time. <sighs> I spend all my money, as always. <laughs> I feel like I forgot to assign. Yeah, classic. Not that the engineers really have much to do at the moment. Yeah, I've been forgetting a couple things. It's fine. It's late. There's really nothing that I want them to do. I guess... Does Ankylo have coffee? I can't have coffee at 1 a.m. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, okay, let me double check. Do I have any cores ready to go? Uh, one. <laughs> I mean, I, I could build one more Mark II. Hmm... Hey, well, let's get it out of the way because there's nothing else to build. I want to upgrade it to Mark III before I ship it off to one of the other bases. But... We've got so many ballistic cores and absolutely nothing to spend them on. It's very, very sad. Alright, now we've got a spare Mark II laser rifle. Surprisingly inactive aliens lately. Come on, what are you guys doing? Any time now. We're just too good for them. They can't handle it. I know I could put on super speed, but ugh. Blink and you five days are gone and you missed half a dozen alerts. I've had a couple, I don't know if it's, I think it's just Xenonaut sort of mechanics, but if you tap the pause button while you're on super speed, you can skip through alerts. Yeah, I have most of the easier mods on for the most part. This is what we wanted though. Huzzah! Mediums. That's what I've been waiting for. So we get to do a little bit of air combat at long last. Alright, at least two. Uh, three. Maybe four. I feel like three or four is pretty standard. Small, no big deal. Nah, eh, fighters, no big deal. Alright, that's a nice intro to Corvettes. There we go. Alright, well, let's just go clear this guy out first. No big deal. And... I think I'll stick to the uh, Assyriuses versus Smalls, because they can handle scouts easy enough. But the mediums, we'll, we'll, we'll try out these Foxtrots. We haven't actually used them for anything yet. This should be a piece of cake, though. I'm sure three Foxtrots can take out one Corvette. Uh, but we'll see. And I'll try to do proper air strats for this, rather than auto-battle everything. Alright. Decent air coverage. I'm, I'm happy with our, you know, month three radar and, and ships. Alright, so I don't bother with battling out fighters. That stuff's nothing to worry about. 
couple of alloys, nothing to worry about there. All right, so if you're just, like again, I'm trying to cover this for like some new players. My preference here is to always, with Corvettes especially, any, any most UFOs have front-facing weapons. If you sip, spend a second making sure you're behind them rather than like a head-on, uh, like if they're coming towards you and you engage as soon as you get there, it's front-facing. Uh, that's a little bit more difficult. It's easier if you attack from behind with uh, your torpedo bombers. So here, engage in a second. Corvette, this is the one, hopefully it's the one I just selected. So it's facing away from me, so it's longer range ones can't hit us anyway. But yeah, three Foxtrots. Even if we were playing with the hard air game on, it wouldn't matter that much here. Generally, my goal is to fire a wave and then get out of the way. I think that'll kill it. If it doesn't, we could have fired two waves probably safely, but that's enough anyway. Point is, these guys aren't that hard to kill. One down. I think at this point, we'll just shoot down the scouts wherever, because I don't really care about these missions much anymore. We're going to prioritize the medium missions way above the light scouts. Okay. Okay. Now, I think this will be a different kind of Corvette based on what it's doing there. So this will be a, maybe a little different. Yeah, Bomber Corvette. Different weapon ranges. A little bit wider, but I think it turns slower. I'm not 100% sure. We'll get the stats once we shoot it down. Mm. We'll see. We might take a bit of damage here. So, three is there, move them out of the way. One and two can continue. Although, I probably just got them shot. <laughs> so this this is our first time on stream seeing the uh, rapid fire. What do they call these things? Corvette something miss bomber missiles, yeah. If you had anti-missiles, you could shoot them down, maybe, but they fire so fast. Anyway, we launched enough torpedoes that we killed it anyway. And still dodged all of them, so that was pretty good. <laughs> and we could have done multiple passes if we really needed to. If you only have one, I'm sure you can kill it eventually with careful positioning. Alright, one more. We'll do mission in the morning, probably mission soon. I would like to get a mission out of it though. We'll do one more. Manual. This will be even easier. Perfectly behind. I kind of like the approach. If you're following the angles, I just kind of like to make sure the approach um, gives us a good angle for retreat here. Once we fire, like it takes four seconds to reload. Um, you need a little bit of time to turn before you run into their firing arc. These things aren't the most nimble, but neither are Corvettes. Alright, you know, it would also be fairly easy to get behind them with uh, a Sirius. The thing is, I don't know... Even with uh, double cannons, with uh, we've been running Mausers for the most part. I don't know if that'll be enough damage. That's only 300. You might get a bit better luck with 600 from the Gatling lasers total. Because you could just park behind them and they, they couldn't turn fast enough to get you, I don't think. But you'd have to fiddle around a bit longer. Okay. Another good air defense. Makes us a little bit more money on the income. we got three big missions, though. First time mediums, and we definitely want to do all of them. So, let's see here. C team is on the right. This is the first mission. It's certainly possible there will be robots. If there are robots, uh, it'll be our first time. I mean, that'd be great. Uh, but we're going to want, well, lasers and a lot of grenades. And if it is robots, then chemical and gas don't do anything. Uh, if it is, you know, not then we can use... We don't want to, like, not bring them. But point is, this is the point where you want to make sure you've got lots of grenades and weapons. Ammo, more than usual. Rockets are probably pretty effective. Actually, they are definitely very effective. Especially the big boys. 
So, I still like having a backup weapon on the Rocketeers. You just need to get stronger quickly. I still feel like we're a little bit lacking on medkits on this team, but right now, because we're in Andron month, having additional uh, Alenium grenades and just ammo in general, now's the point where I want to like make sure we've got extra ammo stocks. I don't think these would do anything against robots. The mission in Finland will be the worst. <laughs> Luckily, they don't simulate uh, weather conditions that much in Xenonauts. There's no, uh, there's no temperature or, or wind chill or anything. So someone like King Dimitri is really not going to have a lot of luck without grenades if it is Andron's. Uh, same kind of scenario here. Even these level 1, Mark 1 laser rifles, they're not going to get much done. I was hoping to have more Mark 2s and 3s by now. We do have one more, I guess. We'll take that. Um, one more backup clip. I do find Androns always soak up a lot more ammo than you'd hope. Yeah, not bad. Two Mark 3 laser rifles. That'll carry us for a while. The lack of med kits is still a bit of an issue, but I should just copy that honestly, and then unequip whatever we can't carry. Because I always forget my stun batons if I don't. And the snipers, did I? I think I might have made a second today. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So at least we're not too much on tier one tech. We're we're fairly prepared. It's hard to have Mark III this early, really. So the fact that there's a couple of Mark III rifles is already fairly fortunate from our one terror mission. Uh, more grenades. Got a little bit of door explosives. This isn't like Phase 2. We're not, we're not fully on upgraded aliens. We're just getting... I think probably could call it like Phase 1.5. It's an upgrade, but it's not the same as a big upgrade. The Gatling gun... Oh, well, yeah, like, we're still a ways off of, uh, the minigun here. I I'd love to have one, but just don't have the resources right now. Alright, so that's C-Team. Probably can launch them immediately. Uh, make sure I've got the car equipped. I would be happier to have a Defender tank, but they all died. So, so Hunter cars it is. At least they're cheap. Alright, get out there. And then this one was... The Bomber Corvette, I think. So it's a different data core. We'll launch from North Africa. That's the A team. And they'll go in a little bit. And then B team will have to wait till morning. Well, you know. Oh, this was the bomb. Right, right. This was the bomber. Sorry, sorry. Oh, it's already 53 minutes for the future tubers. I can't. Well, that's a good time to get all that done. I can't do an entire medium mission in seven minutes. I'm going to have to do one more episode tonight. <laughs> or I could cliffhanger it. That would be terrible. Future tubers. For those of you watching in the future. Uh, this is a sneak preview of next episode's map with a medium. It should be a larger map than we've seen before. Probably. Yeah, it's definitely wider than usual. Corvettes are a bit bigger. So, we'll look forward to that for the future tubers. Thank you for watching, folks. I will see you next time. Have a great day.